Rebel Moon's $166 million franchise failure was disappointing, especially with big-name actors attached to the project, but Jimin Hunsu's upcoming horror movie can fix the letdown. Rebel Moon is a space opera franchise that follows an Imperium soldier who defects from the imperialistic motherworld and seeks out warriors to stand up to the Imperium. With director Zack Snyder on the project, the Rebel Moon movies were expected to succeed. The idea was compared to Star Wars, increasing excitement since the last Skywalker saga movie released in 2019. Despite the hype, Rebel Moon, Part 1, A Child of Fire was a massive flop. The Netflix movie only achieved a measly 21% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes. Sadly, the reviews for Rebel Moons, Part 2, The Scar Giver proved that the movie was just as terrible. This is a major disappointment for actor Jimin Hunsu who has been nominated for an Oscar, Golden Globe, and a SAG Award over the years. He is extremely talented, but none of this comes through in the Rebel Moon movies. Luckily, he could rebound from the failure with his upcoming horror movie. A Quiet Place, Day One can fix Jimin Hunsu's recent Rebel Moon disappointments. The Rebel Moon movies largely failed due to the terrible character development and the clumsy dialogue. The script doesn't seem to understand what it's trying to say, making it cluttered and boring. There is only so much that an actor can do when the foundation is faulty. As such, all the actors, including Jimin Hunsu, were underserved by their role in the Rebel Moon movies. Luckily, A Quiet Place, Day One can fix Jimin Hunsu's movie failures. A Quiet Place, Day One is already projected to do extremely well based on the previous two movies. A Quiet Place pulled a 96% critic score and an 82% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. The second movie, A Quiet Place Part 2, received a 91% critic score and a 92% audience score. The critic score remained about the same while the audience score greatly improved. This is largely due to the incredible character development and world development. If A Quiet Place, Day One continues this trend, it will make Jimin Hunsu's Rebel Moon letdown less upsetting. A Quiet Place, Day One could even break a franchise record by becoming the highest grossing movie out of the three. A Quiet Place Part 2 introduces Jimin Hunsu as the character, Man on Island, who dies trying to protect the Abbott kids from the aliens. The character had a personality that was lovable, and his death felt tragic. However, he mostly existed as a means to an end. Since they're bringing back a relatively small and disposable character, the movie A Quiet Place, Day 1 will likely give Man on Island a much bigger role. If this is the case, he will probably get a rich backstory like the other main characters who have appeared in the franchise.